This episode of The General's Gentleman is sponsored by Galactic Civilizations 3. You are the leader of a spacefaring civilization where humans and aliens compete for domination of our galaxy, conquer through culture, diplomacy, technology, or military force. How will you rule your galaxy? Welcome to The General's Gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Zero Hour. Actually, this may be the last 1.4 game for a while because there's the 1.6 tournament happening yeah. Uh, I think any day now in February and I sponsored a prize pool $50 there's actually other people as well so there could be a good influx of 1.6 people always ask on the comments they're like is this 1.4 is it 1.6 and it's like it's always 1.4 mm. unless we otherwise specify yeah, so. if, if one of us isn't dancing a jig and <laughs> clapping our heels uh, yeah. during the cast then Hare yeah, Krishna. <laughs> it's probably you can probably uh, be assured it's 1.4 We'll certainly let you know if it's ever 1.6. Alright, we have, uh... Just a dozer drop. Okay, so I thought he was going to mix in some missile defenders, but no, that will be for just a quick Rock of E follow-up. I wonder if it's actually a double drop, or if it's just a Humvee drive across the map. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the straight-up Patriot here, Machine. The, the problem with waiting for those missile defenders is you give your opponent chance a chance to get infantry into the area and it's much easier to deny those Patriots. Uh, as we see here, there's probably going to be an infantry response. Yeah, yeah it'll be a troop crawler. Mm. Ooh, a bunker. Nice. Ooh, I like that. Good counter. It's actually going to block the um, the Patriot from firing Oh, as wow. Well. Curious things he can get it, but he won't, will he? No, he mistimed it. What he was thinking there was that he could actually uh, snipe the dozer before the Patriot finishes. He would have been close, but... Oh, I'm going to lose a Dozer too. Yeah. Whoops. Dozer goes down. Yeah, and the War Factor is going to be <laughs> perma-shut down as well. This is actually a brutal... This is really brutal, dude. This is the anti blade Yeah, you never want to have your War Factory anywhere near an EMP Patriot because now Curious is only producing out of a barracks and there's a Rock V. But at least he's mining. So, what... what, what Boyka should be doing uh, is actually swapping between the supply and the factory, but he's, he's too invested in uh, microing this rock V and macroing behind this, which is probably more important yeah, too. Yeah, it is, yeah. That being said, this is a great oil cap from Curious. Supply goes down, supply though. Supply goes down. It's already worthwhile going for the, the MP Patriot drop here. It's actually sort of the dozer there as well. It could either pick that up for swag points or he just leaves it in the area. That means it's it's really hard to force the MP Patriot off because it does if you if you micro well, it does some pretty good split damage against infantry, and with the dozer repairing it's it's really difficult to take that thing out. So he actually destroys the war factory too. The cell will come off though, but that's humiliating because normally you can repair through the Patriot. Yeah. But uh not when the dozer is destroyed. He also has dozer crashes as well, so he can deny any infantry going for the bunker. So leaving the, the dozer there is actually a really nice choice for Boyka, who should just, just flat out win this game at this stage, even with the, the really nice oil cap. Depends how many units Curious can get up. I, I think we've overlooked the fact, though, that it is it is a one supply build. Right, Boy, yeah. Boyka has sure. only one supply. Curious has been mining off two supplies for a while, but now it's only... Well, now it's zero, but also, of course, the oil caps... Uh, and this Rockfeed could go down, at least all the Missile Defenders will. Well, they're, they're alive for now, but next Battle Master will take him out. And we actually have the Refinery, so there could be a double Refinery, which gives you 20% cheaper units. Well, the Factory goes down. Yeah, the Factory is going to go down here, Machine. Ah, oh, Triple gets out just in time, that's actually pretty crucial. Our uh, Red Guard are going to be great at uh, pulling delaying tactics here. Wow! Oh. The oh, he actually let units get inside of that bunker machine, even with the dozer there. That's a bit of a mistake from Boyker. He could have crushed those. And and this is because the players don't have radar. That these these mistakes do happen. And like when you're watching, you're like, oh, what a bunch of noobs. But when you don't have radar, you just don't notice these things. Uh, and you know that's why I keep my radar. And everyone flames me on stream. They're like, oh my god. How dare you keep your CC? I'm like, man, I don't care. I don't play this game enough. I, I like having my radar. Uh, so, yeah, good recovery from Curious. But there is a nice counter-attack from Boyka. Certainly is. Coming in with these Vs, and it seems as though Boyka is just thoroughly invested in closing this game out. Look back at his base. Still no second supply from the looks of things, Machine. Probably too late to go for a second supply. He needs to keep the pressure on. Deny the production's the main yeah. thing. Because there's so much economy here for Curious. Uh, I was actually 
spending it uh, yeah. well, I suppose. Oh, then the, su yeah. the supply, the supply. Wow. And those trucks as well. Oh, the red guard. Do oh, there's flashbangs. There are a lot of ranges. Bangs. That would make sense. I mean, you, you can kite Red Guard, it's a bit harder to kite uh, the tank hunters, but once you kill the Red Guard, then you just evac. Yeah, this is the ultimate flash me. Well, I mean, a certain story terror missile is ultimate yeah. flash me, but it is well, a good flash yeah, me. It's, it's a pretty good flash me with the amount of, uh, of uh, flashbangs that are being fired. So now he can just evac this, right? He's going uh, too late, he's going uh, to lose, lose the it. Especially capping, that's a nice, uh, good, good play there. Yeah. Even if he loses the Humvee, like it's probably worth it. Just get get out, keep this factory. That being said, I think with with good micro and patience, Boak is gonna do all of it. Come on, uh, he'll, he'll get it. He'll get very it. Very nicely done. Yeah, well, no, well nice thought out. Good stuff, Boyka. See, very I would nice. I would have gone man mode and mm. lost my Humvee. I also would have done that. Yeah. So the spy ends up going down here. The infantry army here from Curious, because hey, he had to produce something. Uh, is Zoning the V's for the moment. Another war factory going to be built up here by Curious as well. Both of our players in fairly similar situations, though if Curious is given much more time, he will build up a far superior economy to Boyka's. Yeah, two oils is slightly more efficient than one supply. And there's refineries, but the, you know the, it's mainly infantry, and, and oil refineries are only vehicles and air units. So the refineries aren't doing too much. And... Boyka, the real decision, it goes for a, a command center, wow. So he had a few options, the CC, the, the strat center, double supply. Uh, the CC, I'm assuming he already has his level 3 general's powers, get an A-10 out, take an oil down. Also, of course, CC is going to be quite hard to take down with Curious's current unit composition as well. Give the Vs a fair bit of time to respond if Curious wants to try and take those out. Just tank hunters doesn't really cut it. Yeah. Take this... your time. Take time. Okay, good thing he has a CC because it could be a dozer snipe. It should also be pretty easy for him to get this oil uh, once he has the time. But, but right now, the Humvees have been so active going for the supplies and the production. He hasn't had much chance. But this is actually a huge army. Battlemaster will be crushing the Red Guard. And actually, Ooh, caps. oh wow, these Humvees in the enemy's base, he's going to actually have to sell these structures off. This could even be a base race. Uh, what, what was the Spectre? Maybe the, maybe the strat, the supply? Yeah, possibly. He's pulling the Humvees back. Uh, getting a dozer in a Chinook may be a good idea, attack. but he has the cash, so it doesn't really matter. He can just mm -hmm. rebuild his dozer. Not a big deal. He just needs to float up some cash so he can build a supply again. Microing these ranges as well. Those oh, are wow. be going down. Yeah, these <laughs> ranges can take out all of the tank hunters if properly microed. <laughs> mm. it's, it's a lot of micro investment. Well, I don't know about that many. Uh, well, no, on the run, I mean, they don't really do any damage. They probably, yeah, but then they, 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 they can't, they're going to have to stop at, at some stage. Uh, and the Humvees actually, they, they got delayed a little bit. They, they took out some buildings. Uh, if Boyka can hold, he'll be okay. And he, I think he will be. Oh, but the, 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 the cap is important. Because it takes oh. long to destroy a CC, oh. but it doesn't to cap it. I mean, he doesn't have, doesn't have time. He, he can afford a supply, so he needs. But he doesn't have a power plant. Did he sell? Wait, what? What happened? He pulled his red guard off. He, did he? Did he? Did he select all units with Q? He must have. He done. pulled off his red guard. Wow. What? Oh my god. That's a huge misplay. That was going to be sold. Wow. Yeah, and and so he can afford a power and a supply. So Boyka's actually okay here. He's I mean, fine. Caps on cooldown as well. Now the red guy's gonna have to <laughs> wait until he has it up again. It's up again now. But yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened there. I don't think it matters too much because you see, we're still mining regardless. Yeah. That that being said, though, there could be a crucial timing where Boyka gets another round of general's powers or unlocks another general's power, but probably not. It's only gonna take about yeah. forty seconds of time. Or maybe uh, Curious was showing Boyka so much respect that he just assumed that the cell was going to come off from this command center, so he just pulled the red guard away, assuming the cell was going to come out. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next level plays. I, I like how the spy yeah. drones, because it, it sees uh, if there's anything coming towards this dozer. He's still safe because he has the cash and a chinook, so even if all of a sudden a battle master showed up, he can just evac base. that via his, uh, his chinook. So this is lost. turning into a pretty crazy game. Yeah, it is. How much cash does 
Uh, curious how I'm oh, sleep. This is the Ambo, the other Humvee's weak. Uh, needs to evac here. The Humvee actually survives. Very important too, because he can't rebuild this easily. He goes in, gets uh, the missile defenders, gets the Humvee here. Curious. Uh, it's a flash free as well. Mm -hmm. not, not that oh wow! Defenders, okay, so, so that wasn't too bad. Losing yeah. only the the, the Rangers. Uh, there is a factory. It's look. Excuse me. There's a, a, a scaffold there just for not losing the game. I don't see a dozer. Oh, I see a Gatling tank. Yeah. Having the time of his life sniping down the uh, remainder of these Chinooks. And Boyka, not really having that much cash up his sleeve and we the ability to produce a couple of these sort of vendors, which isn't enough to deal with a gap. Keeping these buildings alive is very important. Red guy might take it out here. Somebody's got to be active. And he might miss the cell here as well, machine. The, the barracks are going to be sniped. That means rangers are going to be coming out. Is the cell going down on that supply? Uh, must have done. Yeah, cell went out. Okay. So, Boyka doesn't have enough cash for a Chinook. And did he actually lose his other Chinook? Unit he must have done. He had it on the side of the map, but I think it went down to the gas. I'm pretty sure this V has to close the game out, Machine. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What do we have here in the bottom left here for Booker? Does he have any units that he can pull up to those top supplies? Bottom left. Oh, he's just, just rangers. Okay, so useless, really. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. He doesn't even have an ambo. Does he have enough for a drone? No, he doesn't have enough for a repair drone. He needs 300. But look how low this factory. Mm. There's also a power plant. Nuke Battle Master. He needs to get good laser locks here. This is all about yeah. laser locks. I mean, Zero is all about laser locks, but this in particular is about laser locks. Yeah, nice. This is great. He may not kill it, but he'll take it low enough that he can, he can finish it off pretty easily. Trucks are going to go down here as well. Very nicely microed by Boyka, and it's so important that he just keeps this Humvee alive. So, like, he doesn't have a means to repair this Humvee machine. Well, what's left? Boyka, what, where's his... Oh, there it there is. There it is. The, 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 the sneaky yeah. power plant. Yeah. Battle drone. Okay, so he's sold off a supply, I believe. Mm. So you can repair it now. Uh, and this is the scaffold here. That's gonna be no, curious. No, bottom right, bottom right. I'm oh right. my god! Look at this! That's Fires it. it! Was there also another structure here? I thought he had a I scaffold don't think there, there was. at some point. Maybe not. No, though. that was no, it! That was it, that was it. That was it. Wow, that was, that was uh, two or three seconds away from yeah. going down. That's insane. Yeah, close <laughs> game. Curious with the, the ball of play finding the, the final scaffold. It's the final scaffold. Yeah. Impressive, I enjoyed that game. I was going to reach for my Guitar Hero 3 guitar, but it's mm. on over there, not uh, over here. That's um, difficult. Because I believe that song's on Guitar Hero 2, which I have on Guitar Hero 3 PC as a mod. So yeah, that was a nice game. Uh, the close ones, down to the wire. Uh, good play by Boyka. I mean, he obviously could have played better with his EMP Patriot, like Micro, to disable some of the economy while the factory. But, like... Yeah. You know, we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, the, th the things that you can possibly do if you are Jadong and or Flash. When you're randomly, when you're like macroing and microing your Vs and like, like a stutter step kiting your Vs away yeah. while macroing, while using your, your, per, uh, your, your pre key binded areas of the map hotkeys to check everything out because you're not playing with radar. Or yeah, I, I think Boyka's going to have to, uh, going to have to listen to some... To some StarCraft 2 parodies and, and serenade himself. I will be strong, just like Jay Dong. And, and then he would have been okay. Yeah. Um, but that was just a very well played game. Uh, there wasn't really any mistakes, was there? It was, it was just really? tense, high level, down to the wire, yeah. zero hour action. And uh, always a pleasure to cast these ones. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you do want to support the channel, you can do so via Patreon, but, but the best way to support the channel is send us replays like this. Like, you don't have to be playing in a game to send us a replay. Like, if you, if you watch replays and you, and you see a replay that's like, man, this replay is great. If only this was casted, then please send them in. Uh, it's always better that way, because not only is, is it not a spoiler, because if a player posts the replay or sends it to us, it generally means they win. Um... And often you have that bias where it's like you have pride posting replays. So a, a neutral third party is, is always a better way of getting replays. Certainly. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen.